All right. So how do we get a homeowner to the right price when it comes to selling their home? We know 100% of homeowners want too much for their property. When you first sit down with them, how do you get them to a realistic number? I want to cover that today. Welcome to today's morning meeting. I'm Greg Luther, the one guy that meets with you every day to help you in growing your real estate business. And today I want to talk about these homeowners that would like to get too much for their home. You know, frankly, if we were in the car business, they want too much for their car when they trade it in. You know how much they want for their car, whatever they owe on the thing. But they're always supposed to start a little high because they believe they're negotiating. Of course, we're on their side. We're we're meeting with them. We're representing them. We work on commission. I want to sell the thing for $20 million. But we got to be at a realistic number. So I want you to think about this. How many times have you met with a homeowner? You're sitting in a listing presentation and they want too much for their home, and then they throw this big fat number on the table, and then you got to figure out how to beat it down and get it to a realistic price. What you have to do is make sure you're preparing before you go out to the meeting. So this is important. You should be printing off their property on everything that they may print off because you know I've listened to a lot of audio recordings of listing presentations, and the seller brings out the whole printed off Zillow well, our Zestimate shows that it's $1.6 million. How many times have you seen that happen, right? So what happens is if you go out to your listing and uh, on that appointment, you already have printed off Zillow, Realtor.com, Redfin, uh, any home value site, like you can literally just Google their address and all of these home value sites will come up. If not, you can go to each of those sites and just type in the address, but see what their estimate is and print that number off. And here's the distinct advantage you have. Every homeowner you ever meet with, they're going to look at every one, and whichever one is the highest is the only one that's real. They're going to print that off, and they're going to hold on to it. So uh, one of the properties that I just did with our cash offer program here, I just bought a home with uh, one of our agent members, and it showed like, um, I don't remember exactly, but it was like 330 362 and 395. They're literally a hundred thousand dollars or seventy thousand dollar difference. And I'm thinking, how can it be that far off? Well, if I were the homeowner, I would say, look, Zillow says it's 395. Someone else could say, look, Redfin says it's 330, right? All of them are wrong. But now when you're in the listing appointment, you can say, so let's talk a little bit about price. Now, obviously, you're using the bulletproof listing presentation. You're going through those five chapters. So once you've got through chapter three, which is the soft close, they've agreed to work with you, provided we can agree on commission and price, you roll into the pricing of the home. You can say, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, let's talk a little bit about price. What I did is I pulled off all the fake prices that you see online. I'm sure you've looked them up yourself. This one says 330. This one says 360. This one says 395. Let me guess. You printed off the one that says 395, didn't you? <laughs> I would too. That's, the, that's like empirical evidence that it actually makes sense, right? Obviously, all of those are wrong. They, they're no more right than the 330 is wrong. Uh, let's talk a little bit about how we get you to the right price. This is one of the best ways to make this go away in advance. They haven't brought it out. They haven't mentioned it. They didn't tell me how much, like the worst thing you can do, say, well, how much would you guys like to get for your home? $78 trillion. And then you're trying to beat that number down. Don't ever bring that up or put it on the table. I don't want them to put a number on the table. I don't want them to bring a printout. But when I bring the printout and they're thinking, oh man, I guess he's right. I guess he's got me. Right? It's not 330. It's not 360. It's not 395. Those are online websites that are literally done with an algorithm, which means if there's a trailer home right outside this neighborhood, it would bring all the averages down because they take a one mile radius and do the division by square footage. No, the only way to get an accurate value is to have a local professional do the research, look at the property and determine exactly what it's worth on the basis of market conditions, comparable homes, amenities, upgrades and condition. So now we can have a meaningful conversation with them rather than you spewing all of your stuff, showing all of your stuff, bringing out comps, which is the worst thing you can do, bringing out comps so they can say that one's not as nice as mine. They sold drugs out of that house. If you think that's comparable to my home, you don't even know what you're talking about. Like, why would you show them anything? First of all, have the comps with you, but that doesn't mean you need to bring them out because they're just going to grab them, right? Like if I were trading in my car, and let's say I had a Dodge Durango and they come back and they say, I'll give you $32,000 for your Dodge Durango. 
And I'd say, well, I want 35,000. Well, here's the last three that we've bought. This one here was 31. I'd say, see, look at that. This has more mileage than mine. And mine has brand new tires. And mine has a sunroof. That doesn't even have a sunroof. I'll start justifying the price because I'm negotiating. They're better off not to show me that stuff. It's not like I'm going to say, oh, really? That's how much they sold for? Okay, I agree. That's not how it works. So you got to know, and again, this is very brief on a morning meeting. So I want you to get inside the training as an inner circle coaching member on the website. We have the whole bulletproof presentation, getting them to price. But moral of the story today, print off everything they may have looked up. So you already have it in advance. And then you can show all of them as a whole. And you can literally joke. You can say, this one says 330. This one says 360. This one says 395. They're all wrong. As a matter of fact, I bet you printed off the 395, didn't you? That's the only one that matters to you because you believe that this is evidence it's worth that much. No more than if I printed off the 330. They're both wrong. So now we can throw all that under the table and you can be the professional advisor. Is that helpful for you? Like take that every single time you go to an appointment, have all of that stuff printed off anything the homeowner may have done. You've already checked it out. You already have an answer before they bring it on the table. This will allow you to stay on their side of the fence. It'll allow you to stay in relationship with them rather than, you know, having it contentious where they think you're out to get them or you're out to negotiate against them. I don't want the price to be lower. I want it to be fair. I want them to get every single penny that they deserve. My goal is not to meet with the homeowner and get it at a crazy low price. It's to get them every single penny they deserve without making the drastic mistake, the catastrophic mistake of overpricing your home, letting it sit there 30 or 60 days, and then trying to come to a realistic value. And the damage that does, how that becomes a stigmatized property, that is a bad, bad way for a homeowner to go. As a professional advisor, we got to tell them that. We got to show them that and get them to fair market value. So this is a tool that you can use every time you go on an appointment, print off anything they may have printed off, look up everything. You can just Google the address real quick, or you can go to Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, uh, Realtor.com, any of those websites that are, are big in your area, type it in. If it gives an estimate or Zestimate or whatever it's giving, print it off. Have it ready so you can show them the stack and say, well, you can't say one of them's right. And the only one that's right is the one that's crazy high. That would mean that this one is the most wrong. Well, it's the crazy lowest, right? So you can go about this the right way. Stay on their side of the fence, build better rapport with them. And ultimately, they'll take your advice because you are the area pro. You're certainly a lot smarter when it comes to the real estate market than a freaking algorithm is nationwide. Hopefully that's helpful for you. If you're not following this channel, do so right now. Follow this page and ring the bell, turn on notifications. That's going to let you know every day we go live for you here. I'm going to have a morning meeting to help you in growing your real estate business. Let me know your thoughts on pricing a home correctly. Is this what you're doing? Do you like this idea? Do you not like this idea? Let me know in the comments right here. What are your thoughts about this? And feel free to share this with any agent friends that you have as well. They'll do a better job at pricing, and they're not going to come back and say, that seller was unrealistic. They wanted too much. Zestimate screwed me again. That's not going to happen because you've taken a preemptive strike at it. So hit the share button and share this with someone you know. I'm Greg Luther. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, and bye-bye for now.